Question number one says that find which is the greater in each of the given bits. So we have got decimals here. To find which is greater and which is smaller, what we'll try to do is we'll try to get the decimals into their equivalent fractions. And once we have got the equivalent fractions, we'll try and convert them into like fractions so that we can directly compare the numerators and decide which is greater and which is smaller. So to start with the first bit, we have 0 0.5, which can be written as 5 over 10, and 0 0.05, which can be written as 5 over 100. Now we can make the denominator of the fraction 5 over 10 as 100 by multiplying the numerator and denominator with 10. So that gives us 50 over 100. And the second fraction that we have is 5 over 100. As 50 is greater than 5, we can say that 50 over 100 is greater than 5 over 100. So therefore, 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.05. Coming to the second bit, we have 0 0.7, whose equivalent fraction will be 7 over 10. And 0 0.5, whose equivalent fraction will be 5 over 10. As 7 is greater than 5, we can say that 7 over 10 is greater than 5 over 10. Therefore, 0 0.7 is greater than 0 0.5. Coming to the third bit, we have 7 and 0 0.7. So, the equivalent fraction of 7 can be written as 7 over 1 and 0 0.7 as 7 over 10. We'll try to make the denominator of 7 over 1 as 10. So We'll have to multiply 10 to the numerator and to the denominator and we get it as 70 over 10 and 7 over 10. Now as 70 is greater than 7, we can say that 70 over 10 is greater than 7 over 10. Therefore, 7 will be greater than 0 0.7. Coming to the fourth bit, we have 1.37 and 1.49. So the equivalent fraction of the decimal 1.37 is 137 divided by 100 and for 1.49 we have 149 divided by 100. The denominators are same so they are like fractions. We can directly compare the numerators. So 149 is greater than 137. So we'll write that 137 over 100 is lesser than 149 over 100. Therefore, 1.37 is lesser than 1.49. Now we'll go on to the next set of bits. In the fifth bit, we have 2.03, whose equivalent fraction would be 203 divided by 100. And then we have 2.30, whose equivalent fraction will be 230 over 100. So as 230 is greater than 203, we can put the inequality symbol as 203 over 100 is lesser than 230 by 100. Therefore, what we can say is 2.03 is lesser than 2.30. Now coming to the last bit of this question, we have 0 0.8 and 0 0.88 to compare. The equivalent fraction of the decimal 0 0.8 is 8 over 10. And the equivalent fraction of 0 0.88 is 88 over 100. So we'll try to make the denominator of 8 over 10 as 100. So for that, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator with 10. And we get 80 over 100. And the other fraction that we have is 88 over 100. So as 88 is greater than 80, we can say that 80 over 100 is lesser than 88 over 100. So therefore, on comparison, we'll get 0 0.8 to be lesser than 0 0.88. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.